Okay, hello everybody, it's Molly. Today I am here with a video that's been requested, asked to film and various other things and I'm definitely, definitely owed a makeup video because I haven't done a makeup tutorial since like bonfire night or something, so quite a long time. Um, and I have updated my makeup so, so much, I've got so much more new makeup since I last did a makeup video. So I thought I would do a drugstore makeup tutorial. This is a collab with um, Cassie, my friend from school, kind of, well, we know each other on the internet, but she goes to my school, um, and she's like the frizzy haired girl, so I'll link her channel below. Be sure to check her video out and subscribe, it's already up, it went up on Sunday, which is amazing, so you should watch that. Let's get on with the video. So I'm going to start by moving my hair out of the way because you don't want it getting in your hair. Um, so obviously I have absolutely nothing on my face right now. Some people will prime their makeup before they put it on. I don't do that. So these are the two foundations that I'm using at the moment. I combine both of them because this one is slightly too pale and it makes me look a bit... And this one is ever so slightly too tanned. So if you mix them together, they're the perfect combination. These are the Rimmel Wake Me Up and the Rimmel Match Perfection in the colours 103 True Ivory, which is the same colour, but it's not the same colour. And I'm running out of this one, which is sad. Okay, so I do this a really weird way. I squirt the actual foundation onto my face so that I know when I've like... I look like a little dotty monster. Right, and then I'm going to take this Real Techniques brush, which is the Expert Face Brush by Sam and Nick, whose brother I met yesterday. Well, so. Okay, I'm just going to blend this in. So as you can see this really evens out my face and also just makes it look a healthier colour and a little bit more tanned which is always nice but don't get a too orange foundation because it's just not worth it, you're just going to look shocking. Okay so the next step is concealer, I used a Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer in the colour, I don't know the colour, um, but it's basically a really really good concealer for hiding dark circles and blemishes. So I just make it into two triangle shapes under my eyes and then I put whatever's left on the brush on any spots I have at the moment, so my chin and down here and then I also run it above my eyebrows just so that it's more shaped, I don't know. Okay so that is my concealer done, I think this does a really good job. I then go in with a powder and obviously this is a holy grain product, pretty much everybody has it. This is a stay matte powder, mine's in the colour 04 um, Sandstorm and I just put this on using a Primark brush, just this fluffy Primark brush which you probably have seen in other makeup videos, although it's been a while, and then I just... My next product that is amazing is this Collection Bronze Glow Mosaic Concealer. No, it's not a concealer, it is a bronzer. I'm going to put this on with the Real Techniques Buffing Brush, which the name again has rubbed off, which is a bit bad. But I'm just going to swirl it around here and make sure to tap it off because you don't want like a block of brown. So contouring is one of my favourite parts, I think. So as you can see this really does define my face, I love this bronzer because if you just look, I'm not sure how well it picks up on camera but I think if you add this to your face it just makes you look really defined and if it's done right it can look so stunning. Okay so next step is blusher, recently I've been using this Max Factor Miracle Touch Creamy Blush um, and this is in the colour one, no, 14 Soft Pink and I've just been putting this on my fingers so I just put like two or three fingers in there and then I'll just put it on the apples of my cheek like this. Like this, I just think that this gives such a natural glow, it's amazing and it's just really easy to apply and I really like cream blushes, like I would definitely get this again. 
Okay, so next step after this, what I do is eyebrows. So this is the Rimmel Eyebrow Pencil Professional in the colour Hazel, which is slightly too light, but I prefer it light to like really dark and heavy because I think overdone eyebrows just look ridiculous. This is definitely a good value for money product because I've had it about a month almost and I haven't sh I haven't sharpened it yet so I definitely think this is a lot um, better than other ones that I've got and it's by Rimmel and it's only like £3. Having said that I do just go over them with the 17 Brows Let Kit just because there's like a gel in this and I think it sets it a lot so I just take this brown on an angled brush which isn't branded but any angled brush will do um, onto this gel and put this just over it. I just think it finishes it off a lot, it's really pretty and also in this kit you get a little highlighter. Okay, the next step I'm going to go for is eyeshadow. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio um, in the colour Blazing Brown and I'm going to put this on with my Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush which is super super pretty and needs a really good clean. This is just a really pretty shimmery pale brown, it looks like this, and this is uh, quite an old one by Maybelline I think. Okay, I'm not technically sure that the Body Shop classes as drugstore, but next I'm going to use the Body Shop eyeshadow in the colour 10, doesn't have a name, and I'm going to put this through the crease with this fluffy large brush by Royal. Once it's through my crease like that, I'm going to just blend it in after I've just got rid of any excess off the brush. So there, once it's blended to a sufficient standard, I'm now going to go in with eyeliner. So the eyeliner I've been using since Christmas actually is the Glam Eyes by Rimmel. I can't find a fault with this. It stays on so long. It doesn't run when wet. It's not hard to get off it's just perfect basically I know a lot of people don't like these types of eyeliners where it's like a brush um, but these are my favorite type because I just think they're really really precise and I love them so there that's one wing done I always wear winged eyeliner just because I think it suits my face and I really enjoy wearing it because I think it's just a little bit more than regular eyeliner but it's not like cat eye style like underneath as well. So I think they kind of match. One of my daily struggles is getting my wings to match because it's just crazy how easy it is to go wrong but I think that suffices. But next I'm going to use the Maybelline Falsies Flared and this is running out so much but I'm saving up. I'm not buying any makeup until I go to New York because all the makeup I want is cheaper in America so I'm not buying any more makeup. But I'm just going to put this on um, quite a lot. This is definitely my holy grail mascara and every single time I buy something new I use it for a bit and then I come back to this because this is the best mascara. Okay so the final step is obviously lipstick. One of my favourites at the moment is 05 by Kate Moss Rimmel. Um, it's a really pinky kind of colour. I also think it matches, matches this top quite well because it's like mm, pinky and I don't know. But I'm just going to put this on and show you guys. Okay, and there you have it. That is my finished everyday makeup look that I use like drugstore makeup. Usually when I am wearing this top I'd wear my MAC lipstick but that's definitely not drugstore. Okay so there you go. If you've enjoyed this be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to recreate this look because if you want to use it for school you could just not wear lipstick or wear a different shade of lipstick or lip gloss whatever but other than this this is basically what I wear for school on a day to day basis as well just with obviously not this lipstick because my school wouldn't like that very much. But yes, um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't for more videos and I shall see you on the weekend with a vlog. Bye guys! Brrr.